Let's do this. Got the asses. Let's fucking go. We got a caller. Multi-way. Rip it, baby. You know you want to. Fuck. All right. An all-to-bet. Pots, multi-way. I do not have a betting range. I don't know if this is something I could change. Um, obviously, we'd be going for a check raise there. There is a plethora of draws um, that we want to be charging. So I'm going to go ahead and use a tallest sizing. Uh, a couple two pairs got there as well. Snap folds from the both of them. Uh, not sure if I'm supposed to check flop there. Uh, would like to know. And I would also like to know what size I should go on the turn and what to do if flush draws continue. That was a very interesting first hand. Hope I played it well. Uh, yeah, just using 4x sizing and attacking on 5 extra cents for the big blind. Straightforward shit.
interesting spot. Um, since he's short stacked, I think we could do a small bet on flop and then jam damn near any turn. Uh, we don't need to bet big here. I think 40 cents third pot is perfect. Um, SPR is going to be a little bit less than one to one. Obviously, we call here. Uh, got the money in super good. He's drawing dead on the turn. But yeah, I mean, I think with all short stacks there, my goal is to probably just bet uh, third pot and then, or maybe even less than that, like quarter pot, uh, get the SBR one to one or slightly less, or one, one SBR or less, and then um, jam, I would say, every non ace turn. Decent spot to limp, flop absolutely nothing. This player has opted to check fold. Uh, part of me wants to check raise this just for fun. I'm not even going to mention that hand back. All right, we're going to be putting in a little squeezy squeeze right here. Uh, we're going to be going with a, let's see. 60, 75, 80 cents sizing, um, 4x plus 15 plus dead money, which is 60, 75, 80. Um, this is just a spot where I think a fold makes a lot of sense. Um, yeah, I, I think a fold makes a lot of sense there. Pocket threes are going to be super difficult to play in that configuration. Um, you're mostly going to find yourself with a bluff catcher. You know, you're kind of just set mining without the implied odds. So... Makes it an unprofitable spot, in my opinion. Um, 
you know, just because it gives this player a really good opportunity to squeeze jam, I think a fold makes a lot of sense here. It's once again, it's just kind of the same thing. We're calling the set mine without the implied odds. Uh, just makes it kind of a shitty spot. Um, yeah, I don't know how we feel about it. I mean, 88% of the time, we're just going to find three over cards, and that's when he doesn't jam uh, or squeeze. So I like our fold there once again, preflop. Because I understand, even with a 4x raise, you know, we might be getting the right, uh, we might be getting a call button versus big blind, or big blind versus button, but I think it makes a lot more sense just to fold there. Anyways, yeah, standard spot. Uh, I always go 3x plus a dead money in the middle. Do this for 1-2 as well. Uh, we have nut and range advantage on this board. Uh, we don't have to bet very big. He's not going to have any sevens in his range. At least he shouldn't. Uh, obviously, deuces are out of the question. I um, think this is an okay spot to bet small and fold to a check raise. Ten of clubs. Uh, it's going to favor him more than us, but I think this is still an okay spot. Well, actually, let's think about it. I think the only hands that are calling us that we're beating are like ace-queens or ace-kings or maybe ace-jacks. I don't think this spot makes any sense to bluff anymore because we beat all the hands that are going to fold and all the hands that are going to call like jacks, queens, nines. They're just, you know, no point in bluffing. I think we just check this back. Yeah, I think we saved ourselves a lot of money there. This was a mistake I made at TCH Los Caninas um, where I was piling the money in only to get worse. You know, I just, I, I didn't, I had showdown value and I didn't appreciate it. Um, so yeah, we're just realizing our showdown value right there. I think the flop bet is probably okay. Um, maybe not. I think the flop bet's okay because you want to start getting hands with equity to folds, like Jack-10 suited if that's in his range, Jack-Queen suited. Um, just get those to fold. They're the tiny equity they might have. Uh, yeah, it's that's a little bit of a tricky, interesting spot, but I actually like the way I played it compared to how I would usually play it, which is where I would just blast the fuck off. Um yeah, I mean, I, I I would always just blast off in spots like that. So that's probably a good deviation. A uh, pretty interesting spot with the 40 big blind stack limping in. Uh, if it was smaller, I'd say like 20 big blinds or less, I might just shove. Um, but we'll go ahead and play our typical strategy, raising 4x here. Uh, might be a little bit too big of a raise. Find Jackson the low check herself.
Limp pot two pair. Uh, I think we could go for some pretty big check raises against aces that limp. We might just want to lead there on the flop. Uh, I definitely want to start going for some value now. Uh, I did check around, so it's unlikely anybody has an ace. We're going to go with the smaller sizing to target. God, I don't even know what we're targeting, to be honest. Three-liner gets there, flush bricks out. Uh, and he did check back an ace on the flop, which makes it incredibly unlikely that he has one. So we're going to bet pretty small here. I don't know a lot of two pairs he could have made besides 9-8. Uh, he snap folds. Yeah, it's a it's an interesting spot. Didn't really get a lot out of that. Once again, flopped two pair. Uh, since this is a code red, I'm just gonna check it. Um, I think check raise is still okay to go for here. Yeah, especially multi-way. Uh, might be getting out of line here. Not sure, but I just, I think check calling is probably a, a bad option. We wanna start getting value from Jack X and deny equity from gut shots and whatnot, but we, we could be check raising into a lot of eight nines on this code red. Uh, get called down by both players, which is pretty ugly. I mean, they also could have two pairs that dominate us, so maybe that's just a spot where it feels thin to check call, but we do so anyways. Um, Three-liner gets there, so a lot of gut shots. Uh, it's I don't, I don't know if we played that well. It's, it's tricky. Since I checked around, they don't have ace-king in their range. Uh, I wish I had more time. Nine eights are already straights. Still could be, yeah, some better two pairs. Uh, I guess the check raise on the flop is pretty bad. It just, it's always weird check calling two pair multi way, I guess. Um, your instinct is just the raise. So that was actually probably a spot where, because it was code red and because we could have been dominated by other two pairs, it's, it's just a check call, which is uh, interesting. But. Have to pay a small price for that one, and that's okay. Uh, I think this is a call. Might be a little too loose on the preflop call there. He's going to have a lot of check. Ugh, I want to check raise him so badly. I want to check raise him so badly. That's fine. He has not range advantage on that board, I guess. Should be three red with fives and sevens. Ugh. I think double ace boards are pretty good for our nut and range advantage. Uh, since this is a two bet pot, I'm just going to go ahead and treat it like I would uh, fish in a barrel. Let's take it down immediately.
Um, and three bets are so weird. We're getting three to one on a call, which means what we need twenty five percent to be break even. I think we're almost always getting that flop and ace. We're really just gonna play it as a bluff catcher here. Snap checks back. Uh, drill two pair. Snap check back's always a little concerning. Um, I think we could probably bet. This is a little exploitative, but like less than half pot to get tiny pocket pairs to call one street. Um, God damn, we really got ourselves in a predicament here. What the fuck was I thinking? This is so strange, and I hate that I only have eight seconds to think about it. Um, from what I've seen, this is just never a bluff. It's like king queen always since he snap checked back flop, so we're just gonna fold. I mean, that is so weird. Uh, two pair would have gotten. Not counterfeited, what am I saying? Um, <laughs> mind is jumbled. What the fuck was that? Uh, I guess we got ourselves in a, some trouble there. Betting turn. Um, yikes. What a crazy spot. That's going to be interesting to review. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, what the hell was that? Uh, against a short stack limp, I still want to raise. We're going to keep it 4x at 40 big blinds effective. Um, might be a mistake. I'm not sure. If he check jams, we're just going to fold. Ugh. Seems being annoying. Okay. Um, let's see. On this board texture, we can do... A lot of check raising or check calling. Uh, he snap checks back, so we're gonna go ahead and use the 70-70 line, as suggested by Fish in a Barrel. Fuck. My bottom bar is blocked. Okay, choice. Flat middle set. We're honestly running pretty hot. It's too bad we're not doing better. Um, straight fish in a barrel, even with a short stack. It's it's right here. I don't know if there's ever any time we check back flop after flopping the set. I just I want to figure we would. This might be a little bit too loose of an open, but I'm struggling with the computer here. Uh, another limper, just going to be <clears throat> raising, I think 4x or, you know, 5x is okay. With the shorter stacks, we can go 4x. It's a little, little weird. I don't know how to address that perfectly. Um, on, fuck, I'm trying to think about it. On these board textures, we can, with, with king high, we might be able to check call one. Um... I'm not 100% sure if this is a board we should be betting at. After he checks back, we can start uh, folding out weaker hands. I think I think on this spot it would make sense to go smaller. I don't think it makes sense to go big here. Um, a lot of hands that fold the big bets fold the small ones.
Mm. Multi-way. I suppose if we were deeper, it might be getting the right implied odds. On dry board textures, I'm allowed to use a stop and go line. Um, so we're going to bet 30% here. Even though the eight, golly, it's so fucking weird. Uh, the ace is a really good card for me to barrel on, actually. So I think I would, instead of going for a stop and go line, I'd rather just barrel on the ace and just go 70-70. Uh, yeah. God damn it. Fuck. Ah, okay, that's frustrating. I don't know if we address that right, but whatever. weird um sbr is a little bit more than two he could be flatting with a lot of pocket pairs that are going to call one uh like a, that could possibly call a stop and go line i don't know this is, this is weird uh if he calls here sbr is going to be oh fuck me okay fine god damn <laughs> cold calls with kings what a weird spot what a weird spot uh, yeah, I have no clue what to think about that. God, I'm just getting torched. I'm just getting fucking destroyed. Oh my god.
This is rare. Uh, I've actually... I can't remember the last time I had a blind versus blind battle at these stakes. Um, they rarely happen. I can say I'm pretty confident. I can slip in a 4-bet of roughly this size. P5-bets, it's just so weird. <laughs> it's like one of those spots where you ace-king or aces and... Or aces. I don't know if that would have been strange. I don't know if we were supposed to check back turn there. Um, I wasn't explaining my thought process. I completely forgot to. Um, but basically, I don't know. <laughs> that was weird. If the turn was a seven, I'd be checking back on four turns. I think we're okay to just follow fish in a barrel.
F I A B. Ooh. Check race with air. We just have to fold, unfortunately. Flopping up and down, straight draw, no back doors, no overs. Golly, I wonder if this is a board we can raise. Um, I think we're going to have a lot of 10s in our range. This is probably fine. Potentially could have gone bigger or smaller. Would like to know what my race size thing should be. But I think that's a good raise. Normal stack sizes, just gonna be doing our three betty thing. Uh, third pair and fish in a barrel is actually a check. Back. Once it turns into fourth pair, I think we can start bluffing. Um, mm, this is really weird. This is probably just a fold, honestly. What a strange spot. I don't want to raise it. And I don't want to call. So yeah, I'm just going to fold this one. And I think that's okay. Flop a weak king here. Great bluff catcher. Turn a heart draw. Could definitely call some big sizes. Uh, half pot again, once again. Great bluff catcher. We'll just realize our flush equity. Miss that. I think he's gone half pot, half pot on both streets. And then he goes three fourths pot on this one. Uh, this is a spot where I'm a huge sucker, um, but I just I, I, I want to call. Yeah, I think it's I think it's weird not to call. I think if you're folding there, you're folding too much. Um, that was a four eight four four fifth size. Pardon me, four fifth spot size, eighty percent. Um, I'm I'm pretty sure it's okay if I call there. But yeah, that's it's tricky. It's tricky stuff.
the fire B. Yeah. Flop an open ender here gets one short stack and one guy has us covered. Uh, I think we're just going to be checking to realize our equity here. I don't think it makes a lot of sense to bluff multi-way, especially when all these sexy overcards are coming out. Um, and anybody here can have an ace in their range. So once again, we are checking to check bold, and we are A-OK -okay with that. Kind of curious to see what these guys had, though. Uh, ace 10, yeah. So I don't think there's any point in putting out any money on that board. Uh, might be wrong, though. Maybe I should have bet on flop return. I don't think so, though. Mm, okay, so this I'm just going to put out a tiny bet here because this guy has already checked bolded and this guy can have any number of crappy hands that can fold to a triple barrel. Or double barrel, pardon me. Okay, whatever.
Fish in a Barrel says this is very okay to... Oh my god, we have a lead. Forget everything I was saying. We get to use Nuffle. So exciting. Unfortunately, we don't get to raise a lot with top pair. We're really just calling down and trying to seek showdown. Um, if you were to check on this, we could bet, I want to say, 30%. Uh, it's either 30 or 70. Ugh, small lead is so tilting. Um, because part of me wants to race this in order to deny equity. Um, that is the case, but <clears throat> we're going to go ahead and just continue to seek showdown. Uh, all draws miss, which is great. And he's checking. So he's taken an extraordinarily weak line. Um, and I think it might be a mistake in the lower stakes to check this back. I think we can go for value. If he's, it, there's no telling what he's leading with, but if it has seven X, four X, sixes, maybe ace high, like could go a little crazy here and call. This is opening it back up for him to check raise us, but I just don't see a lot of fish taking those lines uh, at all. Instead, they just check call with weak garbage uh, on higher stakes. It would definitely not make that play. But then again, I'm not sure if they'd lead into us like that. Uh, but against fish, I think going for super thin value on the river <clears throat> in configurations like that is 100% okay. That was fun, though. I love it when people lead. It's my favorite. On semi dry boards with the Ace of Clubs, this is so weird. I think we maybe can get creative here and check raise. Um, if if because we have a nut blocker and two overs. After he checks back and the five peels off, oof, what a bad card for us, the barrel. Because he could have a lot of five X he's checking back. Um, we're gonna go ahead and just check again. Checks it all the way down and now the four pairs. So we actually have a uh, straight showdown value that we can check call here with. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't quite know how to play that. Fish in a Barrel says to go, um, I think to check, check that board and then to go 70-70, which would have gotten the fold, unfortunately, had we used it. Um, but I was trying to think outside of the box and that got us where it got us. <laughs> Um, maybe I should just stick the fish in a barrel, but I like to be creative because I always want to try new lines and learn new things that I'm going to use against regs in the future. Um, yeah, I'm not on that board.
It's time to get three bet, motherfucker. <clears throat> oh, what a terrible flop for us. Okay, so if I'm being 100% honest, I have no clue whether or not to turn this into a bluff. Um, this hits his range just about as hard as it hits mine. Um, not really, but he could have a lot of ace queens, ace jacks, um, ace, uh, just a lot of ace x, two pairs. And we somewhat have showdown value. He, there's a lot of jacks that just, he is, <laughs> fuck. <laughs> this is such a weird board. Honestly, I don't hate playing this as a bluff catcher. I, I, I'm not comfortable with turning it to a bluff. I'm just uncomfortable in this hand in general. Um, this is super strange. Now that he goes pot, that's a good bet size um, from him. Golly, this leaves me scrambled, man. He could have a lot of two pairs here. A lot of suited queen nines, ace nines. He just There's a lot of hands to just have us crushed. I mean, good, good bet by him, honestly. That was just a really shitty... Shitty flop for us, and maybe we're supposed to turn that into a bluff. Um, I'm not 100% sure. Because fourth pair is just not great, and we do block the nuts, Broadway. Uh, so we probably played that pretty terribly, honestly. Um, but then again, maybe we saved a lot of money from not valuing ourselves from, you know, two pair. Or not valuing, just like blasting off into two pair, you know. Uh, super tricky spot, and typically when I'm in those kind of spots, I just tend to take the passive route as I did. If I'm being 100% honest, I'm not 100% sure how to address these limp spots. I just find myself blasting off on them and then getting called by Queen 8. Um, that was probably not well played at all. I don't know how to address limp spots. Uh, whenever I don't have showdown value, I just blast. It's that simple. Probably not the best of strategies.
Hmm. Okay. So, if he, for whatever reason, flatted with kings and queens, were behind. If he has queen jack, we're behind. If he has a set of jacks, we're behind. Uh, king queen will be able to use as a bluff catcher and let him value on himself with it. Uh, nines and tens are going to want to check that back and play it as a bluff catcher. Um, and we're probably not going to get a lot of value from them anyways. So I'm kind of content with the idea of turning this into a one street hand, uh, especially with the third diamond coming off. I don't want to bet and get check raised. So once again, we're just going to be check calling on this board. Um, and then assuming that the river isn't a diamond or a king, we'll go for some value. He bets not much. Oh, <laughs> well, it's probably the worst turn card in the deck for us, or river in the deck for us. If he bets big here, we're just forced to fold, and it's a good hand from him. Even if he bets small, honestly, I just I hate I hate calling a bet here. Yeah, he jams, so uh, good for him. I mean, we're just beat. We're beat. It was the worst river in the deck for us. I don't know if we played that well. Probably not. Hey, uh, it's losing money in two cent, five cent. How much worse a poker could we fucking be? Uh, I think this is probably an okay bluff catcher. We do want to activate the bluffing part of this range, but if he's not going to take a stab at it, we will. Uh, he might become a little bit more aggressive calling with ace highs and king highs, since it's less likely we have a jack. Um, yeah, so we don't want to make it too big. Uh, we'll just keep it half pot. Nine is a really bad card for him to be checking back here, so I think we can start betting as a bluff. We don't need to go too big here. Um, we're going to have a lot of 9x in our range. We don't need to go too small. I, I don't know what I meant to say, but I think that was an okay line. I feel like if they check back and top pair uh, pairs on the board, 
I think it's okay to start going for some value. Or not value, to start bluffing. Jeez, I can't think. You already know what I'm thinking, baby. I would like a more creative way to address these lines. Address these spots, these board textures, these configurations. But this is all I know. And it seems to work pretty well. Multi-way, third pair, pretty easy fold. <laughs> You can go for a check raise here. Gut shot two overs. You know, just, just snap checks back and we drill the gut shot. Golly, I never know what size to use. I feel like if we use half pot, there's just so many folds. I mean, there's just so many folds with a lot of the bet sizes we use. Yeah. Pocket King, go ahead.
nine though. Mmm, interesting spot. I think we can just flat here. Flat to set mine and then check fold to 90% of boards. Hmm. Wonderful. This is fun. Um, I think Fish in a Barrel says that if it's good enough, if it meets the value of that threshold on the flop, we're supposed to call down to River, which is what we're doing, even though we hate this a lot. Um, but yeah, that was the move. Um, I'd love to review that spot. But I'm pretty sure that's a spot where fish in a barrel is like, 
Here, I'm going to check that right now, actually. Yeah, you're just supposed to call that one turn and river. Jesus with second pair. That's nuts. Alright, get to follow some nuffle. Boring. Now we just have to call. I don't think we can raise a lot here for value because what are we targeting? I don't know. Ugh, this is tricky. I really want to put in like a min re-raise and then fold to a... This is, this is probably bad. But we're just targeting smaller two pairs that he magically caught. And if he re-raises, we'll just fold. I usually don't... No, I mean, I, I have taken these lines before. I think this is, I, I think that was the right play. Just like small raise to get worse two pairs to call. Multi-way, two overs, got shot, no backdoor nothings. I th this is just going to be a check, obviously. Um, mm, facing the five cent bet. Alright, well, obviously this isn't a fold, but I wonder if there's anywhere where we could be applying aggression to get these guys to fold. Uh, especially if they're super passive. Like, if he were to check, I, I just... He might be a fish because A, he's short buying, and B, he's min betting. But if it checked through here, I might want to take a stab on for on river because their range isn't very queen high heavy. But he could have a his range could essentially be uncapped if he's just a fish betting five cents with a short stack. Um, I don't necessarily think we can get him the fold. Maybe we could. I don't know. This is a weird spot. He just snap bets five cents. It's kind of like very fish top pair heavy. Obviously, we're getting a gazillion to one, so we're not going to fold. Um, but yeah, I don't think there's any point in bluffing here. Oh, Jesus Christ, maybe there was. Okay, that was bad. I, I really don't know how to address that. That was stupid. Oof, that's bad. I hate losing like that. Maybe we could have re-raised there. I don't know. That was so awkward. I don't know how to address fish doing sh weird shit. I saw it up here.
love flopping a set. This board is pretty dry, though. Um, I don't know if a check raise right away, especially facing a small size, is the best idea. Throw it up here. Oof, hoping he keeps barreling. Um, Kali, I really don't know. With facing a smaller size, we'd love to see it. I think a small check raise. Kali with the deuce, though, man. Oh, it's so fucking awkward. I, I hate check raising there because I feel like he's just going to overfold, especially when the deuce pairs. Yeah, like, I, I really just want to check call, check call, and then go for a check raise on river. Because I feel like they just always fold the check raises when I have sets, and it's because I choose bad times to check raise. Ah, damn it. Probably should have gone check call, check call, check jam. Or check raise. We're gonna check raise his ass just because he doesn't have a lot on this board that connects. And we do. Fuck you, bitch. Oh. Fold out your garbage. Um, you know what? Upon further reflection, I think that's actually a bad check raise because he does have pocket pairs I can call. Uh, we just give up now. Maybe it's not a bad check raise. I don't know. He has a lot of air that he's gonna be butt folding there. Um,. If he signs the barrel here, yeah, you know what, man? You're good. You take it. I don't quite know what to think of that play.
Hmm. Pair dynamic boards. Uh, we're just gonna follow FIB because we're a basic bitch, and that's the only line we're comfortable with. Um, I would like to know if this is considered showdown value on paired boards. Probably not. You probably want to bet small and fold out low equity hands or hands with some equity. God, I just feel like it's really bad to be triple barreling this, but this is just. It's all I know. It's all I know, you know. I feel like he's just gonna call with 10x and we're gonna feel stupid. Oh, he called us down with the three. That filthy motherfucker. God damn, I really don't know how to feel now. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> three six offsuit called us down with a three. He probably feels like fucking <laughs> Daniel Nakanu right now, dude. Jeez. What a gnarly scenario. I don't know how to feel. Um, we could go either between a flat or a four bet. And I'm leaning towards four bet. Calls we go to a flop. Yikes. Okay, so he's going to have a lot of jacks and tens in his range. Um, we're not. I think this is honestly a pretty bad board for us to bet. Um, we do have aces and kings, and he doesn't, but he has queens, jacks, tens. Yeah, yeah. Ace, jack, suited, maybe. Ace, ten, suited. Hopefully not. Um, but yeah, his, his range really crushes that board. And he Decides to bet big. He, this may have been poorly played by us. But I feel like... I mean, even Queen King suited, like, he's, you know, he's still got a draw. We block that. We unblock all of his hands that just fucking have us crushed. I don't know. That's, that's such a weird spot. We may have played that one badly, but I think that's an okay board for us to just give up on. Uh, absolutely obliterate this flop. Snap checks through. We turn the nuts. Um, not a lot we can target here, man. I mean, that is that's about targeting Queen X and other hearts. It's uh, it's a lonely world out here. Get several callers. Queen Paris. That's actually a great card for us now. Um, it's very likely one of these dudes has a queen in their range uh, because this is three to flush. We don't want to bet too too big, but like over pot. But I think we can bet like pretty sizable. like 80 percent pot right there hopefully we can get a call from a queen probably dead
Um, lots of draws, man. If he has eight, ten, good for him. But I mean, there's just so much we can be charging here. So I, I really want to stick to large bet sizing. Um, worst two pairs as well. I think it just makes sense to bet big here and pray you don't get raised. Um, if we do get raised, golly, I don't know what to do. Yeah, it, I think I'd probably lean towards call and check fold if draws get there, but tricky spot, tricky spot. I think our big bet sizing is preferred though. I wonder if this is a spot where we can check raise because they're not supposed to be betting a lot of base high boards. Uh, part of me wants to do something crazy. I think it's smart to just check fold. Oh, I really just want to fucking check raise or check like flow and then try to see if we can bluff them off of it. I really hate folding that. I really hate folding that.
Uh, the second pair here, it's just a bluff catcher. We are going to be calling all of Bill and Stern probes, which he has zero. Um, he could conceivably still have Queen X in his range, so this might be kind of thin to go to value town for. Um, that said, we're going to go for it because this is two cent, five cent. Wah, wah. But yeah, it might be too thin. Might just want to play that as a bluff catcher. Brink. All right, any five extra spades might want to call a nice seventy five percent pot bet. Uh, might want to go smaller on it, not one hundred percent sure. I'm not race or bet sizing, but I feel like I should. Good price to charge draws. Gets no love. Oops, brain fart. Too loose of a raise. Too loose of a raise. I wasn't thinking. Oh wow, get rewarded for it. Um, yeah, this was definitely not intentional, but we've uh, fished our way into a cool situation. Golly, with trips, man, we just blocked so much of his range but the thing is a lot of small blind flats contain pocket pairs so part of me wants to bet big just to target those you know um he's gonna snap fold a lot to other sizes so we might as well use a big one fuck couldn't get it maybe that's too big
Hmm. Okay. Okay. Ah, geez, man. With this guy, I think I just want to squeeze. I don't really want to flat it and give him an opportunity to call, you know, splitting my equity. I think this is an okay jam. Flipping. Bank, let's go. You get the check raise this motherfucker. I don't even need to go too big, honestly. Like that works. Now you got the fold, motherfucker. Damn it. Checks back. Could we go for a stop and go line with this? Why are you checking back? Oh, you got like Queen 10 you missed with? You got some 9 at. No. Stop playing with me. Motherfucker. Quit playing with me. Great check call, great bluff catcher. Oh, we turn hearts. I mean, even even then, it's still a good bluff catcher. I don't want to do a lot of betting on this board. Okay, you bet, we call. Still going to be playing as a bluff catcher. And he has a set of nines that he checked back. What a nit. Good lord. I understand there's a flush, dude. She got to go for some more value. Like, right, yeah, I love it. Third pair is a little bit of showdown value, so we do get to check it down. Well, let's go. Four here. It's a small three bet size for the small blind. Um, yeah, dealing with some smaller sizing here. <clears throat> That's it. Ooh, okay, so he has queens, tens. He has some hands like ace, jack. That. Oh man, I don't. I don't know. I just don't. I don't want to bet and get check raise and enforce the fold with him checking twice here i think we can probably start to go for some value uh just quarter pot we don't need much to make the sbr one to one
Uh, no words there. It's just following FIV, went a little bigger on the river um, than I should have, but I called down all the way by SI, which is great. Love that. God damn it, I'm such a fucking fish. Such a fish. I don't I I don't, I don't no words for that. I'm just I'm tired of being a fish. I'm a fish. That was so fishy. That was fishy as fuck, dude. I don't know. Thought I could just play it as a bluff catcher from there. Probably wasn't a good idea. <laughs> Golly, I really want to float this. It's just so weak. I hate folding to these beds. I just, I want to float it. Or I want to raise it. One of the two. God damn, I hate fucking floating like that. I just don't know if it's, it's the, I don't know what you guys watching this P&E will think, man. That's it. I, I just, I don't know. It's probably, it's, it's a bad play. It's, uh, what a shitty session, god damn it.
Fish in a barrel says to float this motherfucker. And I think I'm gonna check raise this. Hmm, checks back, we missed the flush. Well, uh, I think we could still go with a pretty polar sizing from this. Get snapped off by a set of jacks. Fuck my life, I don't know how to play poker. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. Look at that, sad as hell. Yeah, I think we can, uh, we have an excuse not to do fish in a barrel here. Or, nuffle, metal, whatever. Uh, this is probably too loose of a raise over a limper. Probably finds the limp behind here. Flopping middle pair, we're just going to be checking it back. Uh, great bluff catcher checks me again. I'll be a little tempted to bet. Oh my god, leads huge! What the fuck is that? How do I... What do I do? Alright, we're not going to fold. I think... Too soon to fold. Please snap check. Just check it. Be like, I've tried sealing the pot. I'm checking it. Great. I love that. Sevens. Okay, cool. A little bit of a confidence booster, I guess. What a terrible bet with sevens. Jeez. Almost done.
Hmm. Interesting. 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 Uh, I think this is a fine four bet fold coming out here. Uh, he jams. That'll be interesting. Just rip it. Yeah. Why not? Fuck it. Um. I think. Yeah. I mean, we have to call now. Wakes up with aces. What the motherfucking cock sucking fuck. <laughs> oh my word. I think I, I think we're probably just playing bad. I don't uh, what the fuck? Oh my god, what the hell dude? There goes all our money. Fucking brutal session. Uh, bluff catcher turn second pair by the time the turn comes. I think we're just still bluff catching. Mm -hmm. Easy call. Jack of spades, blocker. I don't mean anything. This might be a pip too wide of an open, but fuck it. Mm, yeah, this was a pip too wide. Oops. How much 9x are you losers going to have, realistically? 
All right. Well, the three colors, that makes this really hard to block that. I give up. Do you have threes? Like quads? All right, quads are good. Um, I don't know how to play mostly wave pots. Ugh. Alright, whatever, you can have this one. Mmm. Mm, my demons, bro. My demons. Uh, ah, fuck. It's just a bad race. Well, that's that. 
I hope you enjoyed. Can you fuck off? Jesus. Oh my god. I can't get to you. There we go.